We are live. My name is David, and uh, after fiddling around with the new Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion, I uh, began reading, and uh, I noticed that preview has changed, and the annotation system has changed. So I'll take you through a few of the things I've already discovered about this new preview, and I'll use a, a journal article that I'm reading right now. And uh, if we go through some of the things first, wow, really snazzy highlights. So we have a highlight bar here, and now we can simply change the color. We can strike through an underline here as well. Let me just uh, highlight that in purple. Wow. It has a very realistic highlighting feature. Let's uh, strike through that too. Great. Uh, in addition, there are different ways to annotate now. And if we click on this button here, we have one, two, three, four ways to annotate. And uh, this way is, this is a post-it, and I believe you just click on it. Let me see if I can, this works. Click on it? Yeah? No? Hmm. Well, I did add a post-it there. Let's see what this actually does. This is an annotation. We can also change the color of that annotation. Great. Great. But why doesn't this one work now? Hmm. Let's delete that. So I actually add, already added an annotation, but it's not showing up now. Hmm. That puzzles me. And then there's another annotation, this giant word cloud. And this is a word cloud. Cloud. And what's great is you can actually move it around. Move this around. Uh, what's not so great is uh, the more you type, the bigger it gets, and then the more it obstructs the view. So I wouldn't actually use this with a journal article. I can thankfully delete it. Okay. And then there's another type of uh, blurb right here. This one's a uh, sleeker and again I can change the color let's make it green wow cool and I can move it around let's go back here and move this around hello hmm okay move this around and delete it what's more we have some arrows and just plain text so what do we have here Plain text in purple, and we have arrows. Ooh, here. How about a line here? And let's delete that now. Get rid of you. Oh, we can make you longer, move you around too. But let's just get rid of you. Um, what else do we have here? This annotation system. We can have rectangular selections. Cool. We can crop things too. And ooh, what's this? Shapes. An oval. Mm, wow. And a square. Cool. So we have some handy features. Uh, I believe this interface is a lot simpler than the previous version. We can rotate here. And again, we have these features here. So what's on the left-hand side? Well, we can zoom in and out. And we can also swipe or pinch in and pinch out to do the same thing. And it's actually a lot smoother that way. We also have this menu bar here. Uh, thumbnails, uh, previews of pages, uh, table of contents, highlights and notes. All those fancy things I've just added. Contact sheet. Wow, what is this? And let's just go back to content only. And finally, um, well, we have a search here. But we can also send things to message in AirDrop, so that's pretty cool. I guess we have to highlight things, maybe send a message that. Uh, how? Oh, here we go. That's cool. Send it to me. Can we send it to me? Send it to me. Wow, so I just sent something to myself. That's cool. And of course, we have the full screen. So that's about it for the new preview. Uh, it's a better way to annotate documents and to read documents.